In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can uh, make uh, different graphs in uh, Energy 2D software so as to make your report more presentable. So I'm going to use an uh, example of uh, heat fins. So this is an example where you have uh, two cases. So these two cases are separated by a wall in between. In the left side of the wall, there is no fin. Uh, but in the right hand side, there are four fins. And these fins are expected to uh, decrease the temperature of the heat sources. A um, is the heat source which doesn't have fins but heat source B it has fins so when I just run it I uh, should be able to see a difference in the temperatures uh, between the heat source A and B so at this point you can see that the temperature of the heat source A is 46.4 but because uh, there are fins in the heat source B attached to the surface we can see that the temperature has dropped um, significantly compared to heat source A and there are two thermometers which are placed on the surface so if you want to see the results um, in a graph such that the temperature is varying along with the time so to do that I will need to go to um, view option and tick the graph now you can see that there is a graph and you can already see that the graph of the temperature is rising so now you can verify it from uh, the picture that the higher temperature is for that of the heat source A and the low temperature is for that of the heat source B and as I run it we can see that uh, the temperature will keep on rising uh, I could also use some other sensors for example if I go to this tab and um, find other options there are uh, basically three options of um, presenting your results in a form of graph so the first one is the thermometer but you can also place uh, an anemometer in order to see the wind speed and if I now go and run the simulation once again so there is this small tab which is showing the temperature at the moment but if I click it the second one is the heat flux uh, but since there are no heat flux uh, sensors at the moment uh, it is not showing any graph if I click it again so now we have the uh, wind speed in the region where we placed the anemometer uh, I just stop it here uh, if I want to place heat flux sensor then I can also do that so for example I want to see my heat flux in this region and then I want to compare the heat flux in this region for example and if I now uh, run the simulation um, but I need to turn on the graph and run the simulation then I can see first one is the wind speed if I click it again now I can see that the heat flux is also being uh, presented in the form of graph and the third one is the temperature uh, I could present it like this way as well but if I uh, want to export it for example in some other uh, software and then plot it there you can also have the freedom of using the graph for different purpose so this is the temperature graph which is shown in data so for that you need to go to the view data option in the right and 
after that if I copy the data it says that the data is now ready for pasting and now if I go to Excel and just paste it in the first column I can see the uh, time values in the first um, in the second column I can see the values corresponding to the the heat source A and in the third column I can see the uh, temperature corresponding to the heat source B so I can use this values in order to plot it here so by doing so I can customize my graph and use several options of uh, plotting so it is basically the same graph as before uh, but now you can modify your graph and customize your graph uh, you can also paste several curves in the same graph and uh, also normalize your graphs if needed so this gives you the possibility of um, presenting your results in a more scientific way